Well, hi everybody. Now, as you know, I don't generally talk religion or politics, but uh, I would like to share my opinion and thoughts with you about uh, this terror situation that's become quite prevalent in our world. Uh, there's some philosophies, uh, morals, ethical and morally, that uh, I can't see how anybody can have justification in forcing their re relief, beliefs and uh, religion upon others, especially in a forceful nature. Uh, I've done a lot of reading and research, and uh, anything that I come across has um, pretty much agreed with what is taught in the uh, 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 the Catholic Church. I am a Catholic, and uh, I I've read in the Bible, studied some things in there. This is one of my Bibles. It's a study Bible, and uh, referenced the uh, Catholic Catechism. This is this is our Catechism. <laughs> but uh, there is a thing called uh, uh, the the Christian and civil. Just doc, just war doctrine, uh, and it's it's pretty straightforward. And in my way of thinking, uh, in whether it's morally or ethically correct to fight wars, well, in a sense, there is. Uh, let me explain. Uh, says in here, I'll try to paraphrase it, or I could read it to you if I can, but it's, it's uh, the damage inflicted by the aggressor must be uh, something that is, is lasting, grave, and certain. Um, and all other means of um, resolving it is either impractical or produce no results, so it fails. There's no way that the other means to settle peacefully will work. And anything you do try, you have to know that's going to work and it's going to fix it. And most of all, after going to war, the evil, the, the, the clear and present evil in the world must be thoroughly and swiftly eradicated and taken care of, gone. It's got to be completely gone. There. All right, now, now let's uh, see now. You notice uh, that the whole, most all the nations in the world are fighting against ISO now. ISIS, ISO, I don't know why, how it gets pronounced differently some ways, but uh, R Russia is bombing them, uh, France is bombing them, of course, now, and we have. And, uh, you see, we're, we're concerned about the, the, the innocent civilians where these terrorists they don't care if they themselves even die. That's why it's so hard to fight. They don't care if they die. So that's what makes it so difficult. Uh, they, they have no morals, and they try to shove them their beliefs onto us. I don't think so. Uh, they run, the, the leaders, they, they preach to the people, to die in the name of God. Well, I don't think that's God's way of thinking. Anyway, uh, but the leaders, they, when they get in trouble, they run and hide. Not like they preach that their people should do. Uh, you notice that uh, Saddam Hussein and uh, Osama bin Laden <laughs> they went into hiding when they got in trouble. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's uh, a thing that has to be corrected. It has to be corrected now and done thoroughly. 
Uh, I think uh, they have summits and meetings about everything else. I think the world should get together and say, hey, let's get these dudes and make sure they totally disband. So, there you go. Now, when uh, ISIS is all thoroughly uh, taken care of, eliminated, I'm sure that the rest of the world will go back picking on each other again. That's human nature, I suppose. But uh, I'm sure God didn't tell these uh, terrorists, now what I want you to do is go there and destroy everything I created. Who, who do they think they are? God, it was a perfect world, nice world, and uh, I think it's up to them to destroy it. For when it comes right down to it, for their own good. What they think is their own good. I think, uh, I do think that, that they will find out they're not going to win. Let us pray they don't.